so hi everyone uh, today i'm actually going to talk about one of the common requirement that we often see in marketing cloud that uh, we are sending communication to the leads and now those leads are converted to contacts and now we are sending communication to those contacts now the same person have previously have uh, the id as lead and now they have id as a contact in uh, that particular scenario in all subscriber we got actually two records for the same particular user previously when they were as a lead now when they are as a contact so we often wanted to just delete these uh, records as a uh, lead we can just simply uh, extract the tracking information of these particular uh, records and then delete those uh, leads as a record from the all subscriber so only contact will be there there will be no duplication or subscriber basically that's what i'm trying to say uh, so far so uh, for that uh, i i have prepared one sql i think that can be commonly used in all uh, accounts the reason for that is we are using data views in that particular sql and that uh, take care of all the scenarios that if uh, it should be only those records that were previously lead and now they are contact or account in all subscriber they present as a contact or account in a uh, all subscriber as well as if there are two uh, records with uh, for the same person it will fetch the oldest one so like if uh, suppose a record is present as a contact as a lead and as a account it will fetch the uh, the oldest one the oldest one that joined all subscriber list so it will just uh, keep the uh, latest one in all subscribers uh, as simple as that basically uh, so I've, i've run this sql already i guess yeah it's come okay so now as the sql is completed uh, we must uh, got some record in our data extension let's just check okay so we got some records in the data extension as well let's just cross check verify them uh, i'm checking uh, let's just check this one if this particular one is actually present uh, is actually duplicate in all subscriber or not okay so you can see that this uh, record is present as lead as well as as a contact so this basically converted to a contact now we must be sending communication uh, to this particular one only because that is the latest one uh, lead is no longer exists because this contact is not actually a lead anymore so in this particular scenario we actually wanted to delete, delete this one now before deleting the record uh, i was suggest we should uh, extract all the uh, tracking information of these contacts that we are going to delete as well as uh, keep a backup of this particular data extension as well so just in case if you want because once you delete them there is no way back uh, so we uh, for deleting these record we have actually two process uh, one is i have prepared one ssjs uh, script that i'll share with you so you can use that in automation and automation will take care of these uh, duplicates record uh, once in a month or once in a week or whatever we use schedule the automation other way is actually the manual one that is i would say more safe uh, so for that what we can do we can actually go to a uh, contact builder and in all contacts we have this option uh, to delete from data extension so we can select this and then we can select the data extension so this is the data extension in this case one more thing this uh, this data extension need to be sendable if it is not a sendable data extension you will not be able to see that data extension here and if it is sendable then only the marketing cloud will know okay this uh, contact have this particular subscriber key and this uh, record need to be deleted that is why this uh, data extension need to be sendable so we will just select it we have the option to delete both uh, contacts and the data extension so it will just delete uh, it will delete the contact as well as this, this particular data extension but i just wanted to keep the data extension for now so it will just delete uh, these record and once you click on this uh, it will just start the process delete all the records and 
these records will be deleted from this particular data extension as well as well as from all the sendable data extension in which these uh, records are present with this particular subscribe uh, key keys right this process will take different uh, amount of time that you can actually configure uh, so uh, i'm going to cl click on delete contact for now at this point and now the process is initiated uh, to delete the four contacts and it will be deleted uh, it will just check one by one and delete from all the different builders uh, or studios that uh, are using this particular subscriber Ch basically all the channels that are using the subscriber and then delete uh, this from all those different subscribers so i'm initiating the, uh, this process by clicking on this button now the process of deleting this these record is submitted and it will be deleted by the period period of time that is actually configured in marketing cloud you can go into contact configuration and check what is the amount of let me just move myself aside in contact delete you can just check manage setting and here you can actually set the time frame uh, at this point it is one day so uh, all those four contacts will be deleted uh, in one day i can just set it up in zero days so it will be deleted on the same day or a different uh whatever you want it just to keep it uh suppose uh, those records are actually in in a journey so if you keep the day uh time frame to 25 days uh, they will just uh, complete the journey or the some communication will be sent so for whatever reason you want you can just uh change this particular period of amount of time to delete the record so i guess yeah that is the process another way is i suggest that i can that i will share and then you can use an automation uh, you can just comment if you have any questions on this particular one uh, i will try to answer them then thank you thank you everyone bye bye